हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पीपल्स डिस्पैच एंड न्यूज क्लिन इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन थाई मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइज अकू डेटा एंड टू कोवर द गवर्नमेंट द इलेक्टेड गवर्नमेंट सिंस देन द पीपल्स मूवमेंट इन द कंट्री हैज बीन फाइटिंग फॉर इलेक्शंस एंड रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी टूडे वी आर इन बैंकॉक एंड विद अस वी हैव रूम फ्रॉम डेमोक्रेसी रिस्टोरेशन ग्रुप Uh, we'll talk more about the political situation in Thailand and about the people's movement in the country. Uh, thank you, Rom, for speaking to people's dispatch. Thank you. Sure. Uh, let's start with the political current political situation. Uh, the people's movement in the country had been demanding elections, yeah. and the military government under NCPO had been continuously delaying it. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think uh what the uh situation will be in the future yeah uh it's like that you know we we have the coup on uh, in the 2014 and after that we don't have the election so far more than 4 years and people before this we have the it's like the people's some some people support the military and some people support the democracy we have have the big movement two big movement yellow shirt and le- and le- shirt le- shirt support the democracy and the yellow shirt support the military and support the good data we fight about this more than 10 years and we have the good data two time that why thailand still go go to the worst i mean go to the crisis and but however after the the last coup i think a lot of people start to think what the mistake of happened in thailand and uh, a lot of the yellow shirt try to support the democracy now but however because the military that why we cannot we cannot launch the campaign we cannot uh, educate the people that that we want so so that why is not easy because the military try to block everyone and try to dominate the the people but however uh the military promise the people that we will have first we will have the election in this year in uh, november uh, 2018 but uh in the january the the military they postponed again uh, bef- i mean before this they postponed many times but they postponed again to be the uh, uh in uh, february 2019 and now what they they postponed again to be the 2000 and no 2019 too but different month maybe allow may uh in 2019 and the military they made the condition some condition that like they will make the they will create the erection after the uh, the king coronation because in thailand we we are the kingdom not 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 republic so so that why uh the military try to wait when we will have the king coronation but however exactly now we don't know when we will have the erection so it means the, the military they can uh, control everything in thailand like before even we try to rush the campaign to to protest them because we want the election a lot of people want it because people want to speak out people want on freedom people want the, the to express but we cannot and when we try to express we will get arrested we will get arrested so that why the the situation of the human right of thailand i mean of the politic uh, civil politic is more get, is still getting worse so so this is the situation of thailand and from this it's really hard to to see the future what thailand will go to i mean because it's like we, it's really hard to predict uh, the future of thailand yes uh, can you speak a bit more about the movement which is happening Yeah. in the country for elections and democracy yeah uh dig and a lot of group in thailand we we build a movement and we call it the 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 people who want election and 
the this moment we start to run the campaign uh, on 27th of January 2018 and for the, this moment we we try to cope with a, a lot of people uh, from like a young generation like a worker like a, uh, some some group of the leisures some people I mean some group of the rural area we call with them and we try to make the campaign because if we have the erection, this is the starting to, to have the freedom of expression. And a lot of people join with, with us and try to run the campaign in every area. But absolutely the problem of us, the one thing that is like the, the media, just they just live in Bangkok. So that's why another area, we, we uh, a lot of people don't know that we have the campaign like this too. But however, the, the this campaign can uh can make the the military uh, government lose the confidence and they tr really try to control us again. I mean, they try to block the people who want to join with us in in Bangkok. So that's why when we have the event, people will got cash, people will got arrested, and and many times like me. Uh, when I had the campaign now nowadays I got uh, I, I got the case the cases in in the court around nine, uh, nine cases which yeah. include sedition yeah yeah so 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 that's why a lot of people fear but for the, this campaign people try to stand to fight with the military but it's still it's still hard to fight because the the military they they have the army to I mean the, the junta they have the army support them and they can control everywhere in, in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, uh Rome you came into the uh, activism through student movement. Yeah uh, during your student movement. So can you speak a bit more about uh, your role in during the student movement and how this moved into uh, formation of democracy restoration group mm -hmm. and uh, how DRG is now working and what are the uh, demands of DRG? Yeah, uh, actually in Thailand we ever have this strong, strong uh, student movement and but however in the 40 years ago we, we got the massacre yeah in the Thammasat University a lot of people die and However, a lot of the students join with the Communist Party, uh, Thai, Thai, Thailand Communist Party, and but however, the the military can can destroy the the Communist Party in Thailand, and so we we lose the the party. But however, the the, the student movement they try to connect with the people, they try to connect with each other, and try to develop and fight with fight for the the country until now and yeah before before the good data I, I I was a student uh, activist too and first I it's like it's like this before the good data we have a little bit democracy so before that we try to focus with the uh, right of the student the uh, freedom of the expression the uh, political prisoner we try to focus about that and we try to uh, educate people. We try to give people information. So, so, so that's why we we know each other and we try to build a movement. But before the coup d'état, we just small small movement, not not really big. And because the it's like a, the issue that the students focus is too much, too many mis issue. Mm. So sometimes it's like. A, we cannot connect, but when we have the good data, we have the one issue that we can find, that we can call, that is the good data and military issue. So after the good data, me and my friend, we try to call with uh, uh, a lot of the students in a lot in every university in Thailand and develop that and try to make, make them to, to be the professional. After that, we build the DIG, and the DIG will focus with them, and try to build the uh, the the student movement. I mean, to develop them, to be more, and uh, try to uh, connect them with because sometimes they they from the 
uh, different culture. So DNA can be like uh, the middleman to connect with them in every area. So nowadays we we have the we got the support from the student movement and we can mobilize them to to uh, to fight with the with the junta. And the one thing that really success for us that is the student movement really support to to fight for the election campaign that we have. So that's why we can continue the campaign because we got the support from the from the student movement. Yes. Uh, last question regarding uh, the socio political and economic situation in Thailand. At present, there is a military government. Uh, but at the same time, uh, apart from the uh, question of democracy, many organizations uh, in the south, in the north, and in the northeast are fighting for their land, yeah. their 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 demo their land rights, the working class rights. Can you speak a bit more about this? Yeah, in Thailand, it's like many country that we that the unfair happen in everywhere. Yeah, people who rich, they really rich. People who is poor, they really poor. It's, it's like a big gap from, I mean, the class of the people is really big. So that's why we, we, we got the problem. And when we have the military good data, it's like the military, they, 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 they are the partner of the rich class. So, so it's like, a, it's not just the economy, but they use the power from the government because the government should be the, from, from the people, but they, they, it's like nowadays we have the government just for the rich, rich, rich class and that's why they, they took the land from the people, they took the resort, they, they support the, some company to have a mining, something like this and it means a lot of people lose the land and lose the, the good environment to live and uh, that's why we 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 got we got we got the, a lot of the problem now in nowadays. But uh, however, for for the standpoint of the DIG, we we try to support uh, the people in the rural area to protect them to to fight with them. But it's still hard that I told you because the military they, they can dominate and people afraid to to fight. But I think so that why erection is the starting at least people will not get the violence by the military and we can speak out with uh, uh, every issue because we will we we because when we have the erection it's not finished. We have a lot of things to do in the future and that's why we, we have to, to have the erection and we have to take the land for the people back from the military, from from the, uh, the the some company that call with the military, and not just the land that we lose for the good data for the some class, but it's like we have the forest in the mountain that no one can build a house, but because the by the support thing from the military, they support the judge, yeah, in Thailand to build the house, so. They not just take the land from the people, but they take the the good environment, yeah, from the from the people too, yeah. Uh, thank you, Ron, for speaking to People's Dispatch. And yes, thank you, thank you.